Thank you everyone for attending. I'd like to welcome you to the Kaaba Lodging Systems press conference on SafeLog Messenger Zigbee. To first make some introductions of the management team that's uh, in attendance here today. We have Eddie Rosenberg, General Manager, Vice President, Kaaba Lodging Systems, Montreal. Carrie Hershey, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing, Kaaba Lodging Systems, Orlando, Florida. And we have David Ginn, Vice President of Sales, SafeLock. And Jim Mills, Vice President of Engineering, Cabo Lodging Systems of Montreal. John Saroof, Vice President of Sales, Ilco, Montreal. Michael Klein, Vice President of Corporate Accounts for Cabo Lodging Systems. And Ernie Mitchell, Director of Engineering, Cabo Lodging Systems, who will give the presentation on the operation of the Messenger Zigbee. Thank you, and thank you for coming. Thank you for your interest in Messenger Zigbee. Zigbee is a personal area network protocol. It's in the family with Bluetooth and it operates at 2.4 gigahertz. Like Bluetooth, it's a global license-free frequency. It uh, has a longer battery life than Bluetooth. It's secure. It runs with 128-bit AES encryption. That's part of the chipset that we're using. And it's significantly longer range than Bluetooth and forms networks automatically. The Zigbee Pro Stack is a new software that's available with the Zigbee chips that we're using. Uh, prior to that, it was the Zigbee home automation stack. The Zigbee Pro stack is scalable to thousands of nodes, whereas the home automation profile had uh, issues with about 100 different nodes. So it's for our application, Zigbee Pro stack is a requirement. Uh, the Zigbee Pro stack uh, selects the frequency that's quiet, it operates at that frequency, and it has the agility to move around to different frequencies. There's 16 frequencies available. Uh, when the Zigbee radios turn on and they form a network, they, they pick the frequency that's best, and they have agility to shift frequencies. And there's deep sleep modes that allow a product like a door lock that's battery operated to have a very long life and still be a radio that's constantly checking on the network for messages. Uh, this is an example of a Zigbee network, and there's a coordinator hub, and that's the gateway device where the IP in the hotel connects to the wireless Zigbee net. And a lock would be a hibernating Zigbee end device. Um, every two minutes or so, this lock is going to wake up, check with its parent to see if there's any upstream messages that have been sent from the server downstairs and the lock will also wake up every time a key card is used and send a message through the routers that are in between the lock and the coordinator. Uh, there may be one coordinator per floor, maybe one coordinator per room depending on how many Zigbee devices are in that particular area. Uh, the prior slide mentioned frequency agility. I want to explain a little bit how that's done. Uh, the Zigbee Pro stack is intelligent about selecting the path of communication in the wireless network. Uh, you have a device that's A trying to talk to D and it's trying to select the appropriate path to get there. Well, the Zigbee Pro stack can measure the receive and transmit strength and determine that one path here is better than this path. So it selects the most intelligent way to get around and then it keeps that path for all the future communications. We have a couple different topologies that we'll be using in our implementation of Messenger Zigbee and one is where the the power over Ethernet hub is communicating with locks uh, in a network uh, multiple numbers of rooms. Typically in this scenario we'd put hubs on every other floor uh, 40 to 50 meters apart 
and 20 or so locks would communicate through a hub and send a message to our server and all of the other devices in the hotel will connect to that server and the other scenario in a smart room is where we may have a third party coordinator that's talking to multiple appliances in a room so the lock would be talking to the coordinator who may then shuttle a message to the thermostat and the lighting and uh, and then we have a third party server downstairs that's connected to the other servers on an enterprise service bus so we've got connectivity from all the in-room appliances back to their appropriate server or server farm. Well, let me show you what that means. When you're checking into a hotel and you get a card that's a new guest card, that hotel will have programmed a particular smart room scene so that when you arrive and you use your card to unlock your door, a particular assortment of lights may come on. The drapes may open, certain amount of lights turn on, a uh, television set turns on with the advertising. When a housekeeper enters the room, we may want the scene to be all lights on. So when she uses her card, all the lights in the room turn on. So you don't have to go around and turn on all the lights. When the room is clean and the housekeeper is leaving, we'll have another card, which is a room clean card. And when it's used, it will turn all the lights off for her and also send a message to a text message to the inspector that it's time to check that room out and make it available for sale. So, no wires, that's Zigbee Messenger. Questions? Uh, the question was a return visitor and the room coordinator would store uh, your, your preference setting. So if your television set has been left on CNN and the drapes partially open and this light on and that light off, when you return to that room, it will remember the setting that you left with and it will resume that setting. Potentially even when you come back to the hotel for a later stay, it will remember who you are and the property management server would send your preferences up to your lock uh, ahead of your check-in. Yes? What types of market you say are you targeting? the market that Well, we have access control uh, messenger in a, a number of different properties now. Um, it's usually the larger properties and certainly the high-end properties for the, the smart room and the Energy management uh, customers have tied our system as in, and it's about leveraging the infrastructure. So when we have the fundamentals in, adding additional appliances becomes less costly because you've got the infrastructure already in place. So Zigbee makes this affordable to uh, a number of different hotels. Now, for those of you that are like me and have what this basically means, aside from our engineers talking, which they do everything and do all the work and show the schematics, what this is really doing is taking everything that can be done at the door today, um, locking the door, unlocking, guest check, chain room key, um, all the things that can be done at the door interrogation will be able to be able to done over line, online, from any location, remote location in the hotel. Also, as Ernie said, this is going to be the, the room of the future where everything is tied in together and we're starting to work with that network. So we'll make a control-friendly room 